Um, okay, go. going. First game, going to Smashville. Okay, starting off Smashville. Um, starting off Smashville, good stage for both these characters. Like I said, um, small stage. Um, both these characters pretty much have swords. Um, so, they can play around this platform so, they're pretty well. <laughs> I mean, just going for the up, we try to push, trying to push E away. And that, that uh, pivot grab just whiffing, even though the whole grab was inside of Lucina. And not getting that tech. We, we did not tech those. Not tech those right now. Ooh, and I don't, I think, uh, many expected E to tech, and E actually did not take that at all. The no tech mix up. I mean, he's just being very patient. He knows that um, he wants to swing, and basically his method is to try to undercut um, Mr. E when he swings. So, patient play coming out from Benny. Ooh, waiting for that spot dodge, and expecting that um, Shadow Sneak. Yeah, Mr. E just down airing out of that. He's not caring whatsoever, per usual. Great patient coming coming out from Mr. E at the ledge. Ooh, that cross-up roll was crazy by Mr. E. Going, doing that one down tilt and waiting, waiting to see how Benny reacts to it. Good stuff, good patience. I'm surprised they did not see the up yet shield coming out of, coming out from Mr. E. Okay, Benny not grabbing the right way and Mr. E just back airing him off the stage and capitalizing him off the Good stuff by uh, Mr. E. See if Benny can bring this back a little bit. Oh yeah, and um, that move is very, very meaty. Um, it lasts pretty long at the ledge. It has a lot of active frames. So doing a standard get up inside isn't the best idea. So good stuff by uh, Benny. Right now, Mr. E just stacking up that percent. Quick 37%, easy. Now let's see, oh okay, going for that shot. That shot, that move has so much knockback. If he hit that, he probably would have not, he might have killed him off a bad game. Down to left match. He was going for the counter, thinking that E was gonna swing. Didn't get punished too hard off bit, so you know, don't blame me. Okay, E getting him off stage with that forward tilt. Um, yeah, E with, e with a considerable lead. You know, it's hanging back. Benny's trying to get something started, but, you know, he just with that wall, hitting him with that nair. Hitting with the last hit of nair. You'll never defeat me. Bring this up a mystery. Ooh, Mr. E banned FD and Kalos, because I know that Benny wants to go to FD so bad, but then comes time to do. So... I guess that's probably like the the compromise that he's looking for. Sound the city. Three, two, one, go! Okay, Mr. E immediately starting out with that dancing blade. I see he's starting out so many sets with that dancing blade. So many games that dancing blade is not even funny. Getting that dash attack to up smash, getting that guaranteed percent. Ooh, and he's swinging a little bit early there, and that up, oh, that forward air went in a little bit. Missed for um, Benny. Ooh, got that taken place punish with the uh, dancing. Yeah, um, I like to see Benny maybe throw like a little bit more shurikens in neutral, because I know. Uh, he actually does, I've seen a lot play against when he's playing against some of these sword characters, throw a lot of shurikens, but it seems like he's not doing that right now. Looks like he may be tunnel vision a little bit, just trying to hit Mr. Lee. I with that back here, just chilling there. Okay, good in air trade. Good in air trade for, uh, Mr. E. Ooh, okay. Carry that down so... And Harry Downsell got that forward tilt, and that was a great punch by Mr. E, knowing that, uh, uh, that 
Benia spaced that out appropriately and he wouldn't have gotten a big punish off of that. He immediately went for the down tilt. Taking that stock with that back air. Okay, got that down, got the, got the dash tag, up, up smart confirm. Dug with the up airs, ooh, okay. Falling up air, oh, got the jab. Looking for a jab up, but got the punch anyway. And many ults is turning it up. 100% unanswered until I until it does that. Okay. Dash tech forward air. If any is going for a bunch of these hydro pumps off the ledge. And take that with the down tilt the forward air. Okay. But yeah, Mystery with that down air. He likes to he likes to land with that down air a lot because sometimes it can look a little bit ambiguous, especially on the cross up. People get a little scared. Don't punch it. For that okay. Try to get the dash check in the up air. Okay, forward air off the ledge. Okay. Waited for the air dodge, but didn't get the back air in time. Oh, and E's going for it. Ooh. So he definitely wanted to land on his shield. Um, because if he lands on the shield, he gets the bounce. And that would have been safe pretty much. Ooh, okay. Not getting that poke that he wanted with the down tilt. Well, E brings this back a little bit after he was at a, you know, a one stock deficit. Now he's bringing it back, you know, slowly but surely. Caught a jump with the up air. Let's see who's gonna land. No jumps. Ooh, carried that forward air. Ooh, and caught the shadow sneak. Did you die? Okay, no force match coming up for Mr. E. Ooh, getting, got the no tech punish. Ooh, and narrowly escaping that. Got the up air. What? Okay. And that was a crazy stall by Mr. E. And Benio looking for that forward air. And crossing up with the dash attack. Landing with that nair, pretty big hitbox still. Ooh, don't get hit with the forward air. And that's what he got hit by, okay. Oh, uh, good stuff by Venya. Okay, going to, going to game three. It's a battlefield, okay. Battle. I know this is a stage that both these characters would sell at, um, so I'm not surprised. Battle. Okay, both sitting with their characters. You know, I know um, E has been talking a lot about Lucina. I mean, excuse me, Krom. So. Three, two, one. Okay, go on the battlefield. Oh yeah, pairing that forward, that forward here. So, you know, that's something I've, I've kind of been expecting for, from both the players, actually. Um, even though it's a risky proposition to do, parrying and neutral, especially with these characters, um, both of them have been swinging a lot, right? And, um, Raymond will grab mix-up coming from both of them, and, um, you know, maybe mix it up a little bit, but, um, Benia getting these, um, knockdowns, a lot of these knockdowns and, um, jab locks. He, he's not getting these techs, so, Benia racking up a lot of percent. Ooh, okay, being patient right there. And he's just mixing up where he's landing right now. Because he know he wants to swing on landing, and he's waiting for him. He's baiting him into a whiff punish. Yeah, the pace of play coming out from both players. And you, you see as they're playing in neutral, they're not really, they're, not, they're moving without shield. Um, and only really shielding when, you know, they can be in an eminent, eminent danger, an eminent threat zone. But that footstool, whether by accident or not, 
Uh, he went out there still, so you know, counts for something. So. Ooh, okay. Up he had a shield, quick punish coming from Mr. Ooh, charge that up smash a little bit. Both kind of look a, looking a little bit surprised at it. Ooh, and E trying to delay that to catch um, Benny is slipping, but Benny wasn't going to. Ooh, landing with an upper, that was, that was sneaky. He did an upper almost at like the very last frame. That was kind of sneaky coming out from Mr. E. Ooh, back here and there? Did he catch that jump? Yeah. You put him in that you put him in that landing that um hit lag animation. And yeah, and there's a parry I was talking about. Um both of them swinging really crazy. But you know in a matchup like this, you're gonna have to expect that. Ooh, casting that jump with the back air! You know, sneaky stock but from um, Benny, you know, you know, he was at a little bit of deficit, but it doesn't matter right now. And that parry coming out from Benny. Uh, he's just like, if you touch my shield, I will upbeat every single time. <laughs> do not touch E's shield right now. He will do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it again. <laughs> you do not touch E's shield. You know he's going to do it at that percent. That's all he was looking for. No good stuff by Mr. E by being persistent, but man. Yo, and Benny got him above him right now. Ooh, waiting for that air dodge. Oh, he saw that jump, and you're gonna get Shadow Snook? Did you just die from that? Are you? 100% hunt answer coming from Benny. That sequence was insane. He took his jump and everything. Okay, back throw getting him off stage. Ooh, almost gonna hit by that shuriken. Yeah, and Benet being very patient, knowing that one false move can get a, a lot of percent getting wrapped up from Mr. E. Ooh, no forward smash coming out from Benia. You have to watch out, your shield's kinda low. If Lucina's shield breaks you right now, you will die. Like, you will die if you get shield broken. So don't, don't let that happen. And it looks like E's kinda sharking for it right now, not gonna lie. He's charging for something sneaky. And Benny knows this. He's playing very cautious. And now, okay, so we can, can we talk about that stock? So can we talk about how that was pretty much up air the stock? I think, I want to say that last stock was about 100% up airs. That was kind of ridiculous.